time for Wallet Wednesday, and this morning we're helping you stay above water in these tough economic times. The Federal Reserve once again increased a key interest rate by three quarters of a percentage point last week. Although that is a small bump, it has big implications for all of your debt. And joining us live to tell us what this rate hike means for Oregon residents is debt expert Mary Jo Terry. Good morning. Good morning. Well, just talk about in general, how does this interest rate increase impact our finances? Well, the first place it's really going to hit your wallet is with credit cards. So most of us have anywhere from two, three, four, up to five plus credit cards. And what you're going to see is your APR rates are going to increase. For those of us that have variable rate mortgage loans, they are still out there, or variable rate personal loans, we're going to see an increase, whether it's a quarterly or yearly increase on your interest rate. So therefore, you're going to be paying more for something that you were paying less for. That could even be a car loan. Uh, some of us have uh, increasing car loans in the variable rate market, and we're going to start to see that we're paying more interest, and it's going to take us longer to pay those loans off. I think that's a good way to kind of put it in perspective, too. It's not just, you know, a new mortgage if you're buying a house. If people think, oh, I'm not shopping for a home right now. These are all kinds of ways that it can affect you. So what should we be doing right now in terms of paying off credit cards? Let's talk best practices. Best practices is to really first find out how much you owe. Take each of your credit cards, figure out what the balance is, and then take a look at your APR rates. Obviously, the higher APR rates, we want to use that credit card less, and we also want to get it paid off sooner. Then take a look at your budget. So take a look at how much your debt is and how much your budget is on a monthly basis and really try to compare the two to see what you can afford to pay per month. Once you've got that determined, see if there's any opportunities for you to maybe transfer your credit cards to a low entry rate. A lot of your existing credit card holders will give you the ability to transfer that debt from one credit card to the next, even during a lower rate you should have the ability even if there's fees associated to significantly come combat the amount of interest that you are currently accruing now if those things aren't looking good for you you can also look at getting a personal loan to consolidate you can also look at maybe taking some money out of your house to try to get those credit card debts paid off or we could go the old fashioned route which is really just looking at different ways we can cut our budget and prioritizing credit card debt to get it paid down and hopefully get you to the point to where you can pay it off every single month as you go through and really prioritize based on what's your highest interest rate right if we can lower that interest rate and lower how much you're paying you're going to pay those credit cards off much faster yeah you talked about uh maybe taking some money out of your house to pay higher uh, debt credit cards uh keep in mind you know those home equity lines of credit those rates are going to be rising too, although they're much well, lower it's very, than credit card it, it, debts. Absolutely. It's very interesting. There are fixed rate options out there. You just need to go online and do a little bit of research. There's many places you can go where you can put in five pieces of information, does not hit your credit, and they'll give you some options in a fixed rate scenario to your point. We don't want to take variable into variable and make it uh, mm -hmm. a worse situation than where you are right now. So for someone who feels like they are they are struggling with debt right now, obviously this is a really overwhelming time to, to be in some financial stress. What resources are out there for someone who just kind of needs to figure out where to start? Well, there's resources through your credit bureaus. There's resources, uh, just simple online budgeting tools that don't cost anything. Online apps uh, that you can use on your phone or you can use on your pads. Um, there's a lot of tools out there that you can get for free, which is obviously incredibly important to help you put a budget together. Also take a look at little things like your subscriptions, right? We may have subscribed to something that we no longer need, or we realize we don't watch that channel. Also go in and do little things like using digital coupons, which sounds very small, but could save your family a significant amount of money every single month. And then also look at the ability to uh, do some comparison shopping. Go to your uh, cable company, go to these others and actually call and say, hey, can you do anything to cut my rate? You would be surprised if you're a loyal customer what you could save every single month. But I could continue to give you lots of miscellaneous strategies to really help 
cut the situation that we're in because we are all feeling it, especially with rising fuel rates, um, which is a, a very good thing that you guys were just talking about. Propane's going up, natural gas is going up, the cars are going up. The list goes on and on. Yeah, we've got to pay uh, close attention to our finances uh -huh. now because the landscape is changing. Thanks for the advice, uh, debt expert Mary Jo Terry. And for more financial advice when it comes to credit cards and student loans, watch our previous Wallet Wednesday segments on coin.com. It is.